We are in the Independent Filmmakers Lounge, sponsored by the likes of the Foreclosure Boys and of course Pugswear for ABC4, CW30, and of course Talking Pictures. We are here with John Paul and Eloise, basically the founders of uh, various things. One of them is Patron, which I'm sure you have uh, drank at one point in time in your life, and if you haven't, you should get about doing it. And as well yeah. as Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> we love that. Absolutely. Thank you yeah. for joining us today. Oh, it's our pleasure. Uh, we come up here, oh God, we've come for many, many years, and of course, Paul Mitchell Hair Care sponsors a few events, Patron sponsors a lot of events, but the important thing is, we're here to have fun, recognize independent films, and just uh, be part of the whole scene, which is super cool. And I think it's important not, not to mix the Paul Mitchell with the Patron. No. You don't <laughs> want to drink. Oh, well. no, you can. <laughs> you can like shampoo and drink Patron at the same time. <laughs> I highly Patron, suggest yeah. that. <laughs> like rinse with Patron. <laughs> you would smell wonderful. <laughs> but he has a motorcycle that runs on Patron, so yeah, you, you know what I mean? You yeah. do not. He does. We built, we built the motorcycle that runs off biodiesel or Patron. Uh. I know, it's a Patron bike. That, that is amazing. Expensive to fill the tank. Well, but so we mix it with gas and Patron. <laughs> oh, okay. This dude, he used to ride with the Hells Angels a long time ago. He wasn't a Hells Angels. But <laughs> no, he was very nice. I'm yes, sure. he's always sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, so what is the connection uh, between that? You say you want to uh, support the film festival. Why are you interested in film? Well, mainly because my wife is an actress. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, a couple of her films just came out. She was in Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. And, and she has, I think, four films going right now. I think the Dukes right just came out on Showtime. In, and the Dukes just came out I with uh, Chas Palmatero and Robert Davi. And we could go on and on with all this great actors. So my wife's an actress. So I've been around it because I've been around her for 20 years. And Clint Eastwood Clint gave, my buddy. Yeah. well, yeah, he gave Patron, when, you know, John Paul first started Patron, Clint and all, you know, and Robert De Niro and people like that would walk, well, Clint walked around with the Patron in his hand just as a, you know, a nice. Sure, it was a prop. It was, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he called us and said, why don't you come and, uh, you know, come see this premiere of the movie and this whole scene, he was walking around and he just wished us in nothing but luck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that's, 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 that's all he drank was yeah. Patron. That was a good it was one. so nice of him, yeah. So, so we have a lot of friends that help promote our products. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> that probably helped him get into character for that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And God, recently, Cher, Cher just did a movie oh, with yeah. uh, Burlesque. Burlesque. Yeah, Burlesque, yeah. They were, mm -hmm. that's, they were carrying around balls of Patron, yeah. Cher was, and uh, yeah. they were ordering Patron at the bar. Yeah. And of course, uh, they did the same thing in Wall Street, uh, Money Never uh -huh, Sleeps, absolutely. where they ordered, you know, the two main characters ordered two Patrons, please. That's right. And we thought it was kind of nice. No, that's great. <laughs> Oliver so, Stone did some cool. He's parts. buddies with all these. Oh, and, and is that why? Because we yeah, just chatted why. with uh, Morgan Spurlock, who, who uh. did Super Size Me, mm -hmm. and he oh, also yeah? has a new film out called The Best Movie Ever Bought, Ever mm -hmm. Sold. Oh, really? And it's about product placement. Ah. So when you do that, it's uh, now it's a gift from them. Oh, yeah. Them? yeah, we have never paid to be in a movie or in a rap song. I think today, approximately <laughs> 105 hip hop or rap songs have been written about Patron, <laughs> three country and western. And a couple of pop songs, and the reason people do it is one, they love Patron, obviously. Sure. No, they like you. But also, they, they know like that we give Patron. back. We give a back, whether it's in Africa, yeah. the United States, or anywhere in the world. We we help make the world a little better place to live. So they like that aspect of it. Tell our us companies. a little bit about the charity work. Sure, you oh, bet. Gosh, Always. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we do charity work all the time. As a fact, if I do a movie, and if John Paul does a movie like mm -hmm. he did Zohan, he gives his money to charity. And I mean, we do. You know, there's some close to my heart. Like when I saw Precious. I love the mm -hmm. fact, because we do a lot for abused children, and okay. I mean, we, you know, the list goes on. There's no charity that's not important. You try to figure out, in them, but we try to focus on, you know, helping, like John Paul's, we just started the Appalachian, Grow Appalachians, which is teaching them. I'll let you talk about it, because you, sure. you've you been there, yeah. Yeah, we decide that even though we feed every day 8,000 orphans in Africa, all their parents have died of AIDS. They're the unwanted ones. We feed them, we clothe them, we give them shelter. They're all one day to 12 years old. We thought in the United States, there's a lot of things we need here. Hmm. Whether it's South Central LA, where we build homes to educate the kids and tutor them, or the Appalachian Mountains. There's a lot of people that are out of work that are coal miners. Sure. So we started a project last year called Grow Appalachia where we supply them with all their seeds, their fertilizer, their irrigation, all the tools they need to garden with. And we started a hundred gardens. Some are community gardens where many participate, some individuals for people way up in the mountains that just can't get to it. But off the gardens we planted last year, people are growing their own food. We will feed 2,700 people in the Appalachians this year off last year's gardens. We're doubling that amount this year. At the rate we're going, uh, gosh, within five years, we just may knock out a third to half of the 
starvation, or let me just say the improper eating habits mm, of the Appalachian right. Mountains. We want to take care of our country as well as other places. Well, it's really interesting, uh, you know, the eating habits too, I, because mm -hmm. this is such a huge problem, the obesity, and sure. I would, I'd love to get more and more into helping you know, or the nation with obesity, but he, the but Grow Appalachian. Have. Yeah, but you have, you, well, yeah. I guess she got so excited about <laughs> helping people that really needed it. You have these really expensive rehab centers for alcohols and drugs and all over the world, right, all over the United but States. But not especially. necessarily eating disorders. Exactly, and people can't afford most of them. So mm -hmm. my wife put together a place called the Arbor, like mm -hmm. A-R-B-O-R, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Arbor, and it's in Georgetown, Texas, yeah. where people could go at this unbelievable ranch of 80 acres with mm -hmm. the most beautiful surroundings and food you could ever imagine for a smidget of the price that people pay to go to these big celebrity places. Mm -hmm. Her feeling was everyone deserves to go someplace really, really great, no matter what their monetary situation was. So she's got yeah. that. Well, you've been up and running now for about three months. And, uh, yeah, it's a real special place. I think miracles are really happening That's there, and it's it's just you know with all addiction. But the the grow Appalachians too was uh, is what they eat is like you know like what white yeah. flour. When or you don't what? have a lot of money, yeah. people see some of them as pretty big people. But when you don't have a lot of money, yeah. you're eating cheap foods. What white flour, white bread, it uh, just macaroni, never satisfies the you. The cheapest you know? foods you could eat. Right oh. now, and your body says, "I'm hungry. I'm hungry." It doesn't say, I need carrots, I need spinach, I need celery. It's not gonna Give tell me you what you should be eating. So what do you do? They know they eat something, so they just keep on craving more and putting junk mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. Once we've introduced vegetables in their diet, without them even trying, their weight has gone down, their physical health has improved, mm -hmm. and they don't crave all this stuff anymore. It's just you know, amazing. You're literally doing the old adage of giving them the fishing pole, yes. rather than just uh, saying. That so. is John Paul's philosophy, yeah. for sure. Yeah. That's yeah. a wonderful way yeah. to do it because themselves. now they could be self-sustaining. Yeah. Sure. Now, is it possible that, I mean, if, if you're donating all the, the, the seeds and mm -hmm. whatnot to get it going, mm -hmm. is it possible that it's something that can be sustaining, that oh, yeah. they can grow because their own? Once, yeah. Oh, yeah. I buy all this stuff and give it to them. Okay. Once they have their first growth, mm -hmm. the irrigation set up, the fertilizer set up, they already have the tools in their hands, mm -hmm. they know that with these particular vegetables, for example, you take so many aside for the seeds, for the seeds like right. an ear of corn. You know, you have all these ears of corn on a stalk. Take one ear of corn, and every one of those is a plant. That's a little seed. So, you so, better... so in other words, they could carry on themselves. We That's get them wonderful. set up to carry on. And mm -hmm. we also ask them, if they do have neighbors, to please mm -hmm. pass this on to three neighbors each. I'll buy the seeds. I'll buy the fertilizer. This mm -hmm. way, it just grows organic. And have them teach the neighbor. And, and of course, if there's sure. someone too old, then the community helps that older person. Which is wonderful. Really, really and cool. You know. So drink Patron, help people. <laughs> That's, That's right. That's use Paul message. Mitchell on you your hair. Well, Enjoy oh, giving and have a good. shot of Patron. Both, <laughs> com both companies have the standard yeah. of giving back. We feel that success and shared is failure. And through the movie industry, we try and promote that a whole bunch too. Whether I'm in a movie, if I do something, <laughs> I take my, and I do very few, she does a lot. But whatever yes. money I have just goes to charity, not to me, you know, because I, and, but what she does is she works with movies and tries to make it more organic while she's there. Mm. Okay. I just don't make yeah. enough money. <laughs> no, she's well, actually costs movies me money do, for yeah. her to do a movie because they had a flyer and a jet there. Uh, you know, well, jet. But I do <laughs> give, I give mine to charity. Let's, let's change yeah. that a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about, about some of the movies that you're in that we, you know, this is. Um, well, you know, it's I don't know if it's always good luck, but we'll have some. Well, the Dukes is out on Showtime now, and that's okay. what, you know he mentioned Chaz Palminteri. I was getting ready to um, if there's a couple of movies that I'm gonna work on this. Uh, coming month and one is with um, Joss Brolin it's called um, well you know we just have a working title so I'm not going <laughs> to but it's like a G-rated movie and I have two G-rated movies that I'm going into but um, with some really talented people and, and the Christmas movie yeah yeah and the Christmas with movie with Harry too. Conniff Jr. yeah yeah, yeah. there's a, yeah, this Willie Nelson yeah. not to mention I know I sometimes I hate to, to talk about movies before we get them done but Believe that's your fault. Anyway, <laughs> you're very important people. Yeah. That's okay. We won't ask. This interview is more important here. Let <laughs> it ring. There'll be the sound any? effects. <laughs> that's right. That's just a little I'm going to do a, his next, in, you know, hopefully we'll get John Paul's documentary done in the next couple of years. That's my goal is to help him achieve that because he deserves that. And Now, is this documentary? And a movie, hopefully, too. But well, does the doc focus on, him. on say, your life or getting into the business or what, or the charities? Well, we'll have points. All? Yeah, we'll have, I mean, sure, the, it's like his beliefs, you know, his culture. And he's always, always, you know, thought about giving back to the planet. He's always mm -hmm. been a kind person. So there's going to be, you know, and he's never, ever 
talks bad about anyone. He deserves a documentary. I know he does. <laughs> Before well, I, I do anything else, I gotta make sure that's done because he's awesome. So well, you know, gonna, I bet people yeah. would really like to know. You know, how do you start a business uh, that, yeah. that ends up being so so successful? I mean, how, how do people who want to do it now, especially these days? Yeah. More and more people are trying to go in the business for themselves. What would be your advice for It's the same that? thing I tell people here at Sundance that are new directors, producers, new writers. Is in any business you're in, whether it's the film industry or any kind of a business or a service, it could be a manufactured product or a service, is two things. Number one, your service or your product has got to be the best there is because you don't want to sell it. You want to be in the reorder business <laughs> where it's so good, they like it, they want to reorder it. Second of all is be prepared for a lot of failure and a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. You're going to get people rejecting yes. your movie, rejecting your new concept, rejecting you trying to sell it to them. As long as you know you got to be prepared for a lot of rejection. And if you knock on 100 doors, they slam in your face. Door 101, you have to be just as enthusiastic between successful people. Colonel Sanders. Do all the things unsuccessful <laughs> people don't want to do. Right. Didn't he knock on supposedly she like did. a thousand a doors before did. and then just, I'm doing it myself. You betcha. You <laughs> bet. What is this book that I read one time? It was uh, War of Art. Have you ever read this? Like a the 30 minute. No, 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 it's a War of War? Art. This yeah, it was about a writer. Yeah, it's just the opposite. It's like two. a 30 minute read and it's just like, it's, it says you, you have a passion you know, and you just need to do it. And a lot of people around you sometimes don't feel comfortable with you moving in the direction of your pet because they like you to be where you are. So sure. you have to really, I think that's really awesome advice is just, you know, go for your passion no matter what kind of, you know, roadblocks are there. America is getting better. You see a lot of stuff in the news, how lousy things have been the last two years, biggest depression, uh, recession since the Great Depression, that's all baloney. Hmm. And I say it's all baloney because in 1980, inflation in the United States was 12.5%. The dollar was worth 12.5% less. Unemployment was 10.5%. You waited in line to buy gasoline and interest rates were 18%. <laughs> Compare the last two years to that, it wasn't the worst one. Mm. But I think what we're seeing right now is a lot of people on this planet are caring about the planet. More people are getting involved in ecological or humanitarian endeavors as volunteers are wanting to change than in the history of this planet more people per capita. So this planet is getting much, much better. And what's helping out a lot is people seeing things through movies. We love the movie industry. Uh, dear friend of ours, Shen, Sean Penn, just made a movie mm -hmm. about uh, Ambassador Wilson and all that he went through and his wife being exposed sure. as a CIA agent. Fair game. And knowing what was going on in Fair Game myself, that movie was 98% accurate to everything. I was just going to ask. So movies, it's a good try. way, you know, if they don't mess it up and they don't go too far in the other direction. And also, we have a great country. A lot of people are, are bashing the United States of America. We travel the world. This is the best country in the world. Yeah, there may be a few things we have to fix, but we always fix it. We're a great nation. Yeah, we try to fit. There's always room for improvement, and we look to improve. Yep. And I, not to, but to comment on, on your point, I really do believe that the, uh, the whole green movement, the ecological uh, area of things yeah. is going to be a huge boon once we start investing in it the yeah. same way we did in the Industrial sure. Revolution. And we are and it's happening. Right. That's good. Anything right. you want to say, Sweetie Pie? Oh, no. Just thank you for... A pleasure. Yeah, uh, being here pleasure. with you. Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you spread your yeah. word to everybody. Uh, well, very Appreciate briefly, is there, is there a way, if anyone is interested yeah. in finding out more about what you're about, any websites and things oh, that they yeah. should sure. go to? Do you know, I did a website for John Paul's uh, Christmas present two years ago, and he's not like computer literate. Well, you can always go to John Paul Mitchell Systems, yeah. but I did one for uh, johnpaulddejoria.me, and it's just about, you know, John Paul, but you just go in and you punch in John Paul and then the password is peace and you can go in and it, it has John Paul's whole lifeline and a lot of his philanthropic endeavors and his speeches and you know all that good stuff. And for Patron all our philanthropic things are new exciting things at oh. Patron you go to Patron Spirit dot com, PatronSpirits.com and for Paul Mitchell, PaulMitchell.com or John Paul Mitchell Systems. And that and is all it. kinds of scoops. A real pleasure. That's a ton. That, that's a ton of information. And if you want more, obviously, get on those websites <laughs> and find <laughs> about Patron and about Paul Mitchell. Thank you very much for your Our time. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank so you very much. much.